Hello everybody, my name is Maka, and welcome to Satisfactory Update 6, Experimental. Today you will witness as I struggle to build a weapons factory in the Spire Coast. Why are we building a weapons factory when there's like little threat on this planet? Oh, for fun. And it's a bunch of new goodie items that I love to play with. In Update 6, Coffee Stain Studios has added four new novelists, two new rifle cartridges, and three new rebars. All of which are incredibly fun to use. And we are going to be building a production line for each and every one of these things, and possibly for some other items as well. However, as fun as it sounds, my layout in this game is not particularly the best. That and we must research a lot of things before we're going forward with this. This is over the course of a few days, so hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we will have it done. Watch as I squirm and struggle to calculate numbers in my head, in my tiny bean head. And yes, I am super aware that Cookie was like in the way all of day one, but don't worry, I fixed that. Before we can do this, however, we have to research a lot of these new things. And man has actually changed quite a lot. Some items are in different categories, a lot of the recipes have changed too, that I should show on screen, like, right now. So, yeah, a lot of our production lines are very much different, but... That's the fun of it. Math can be pretty fun. So, let's get to it. Day one was actually streamed live on Twitch, and I know a lot of people do not like self-promotion, but look, I gotta keep my lights on. So, yeah. If you'd like to become a part of these videos, you can gladly join our Twitch. It's pretty fun there. It gets pretty chaotic. Y'all talk about the weirdest things. I mean, y'all are talking about mushrooms earlier, so, yeah. Let's do this. you all know in Update 6, you're able to equip pretty much every piece of equipment. Though you do have to choose between, you know, the jet pack or hover pack. But it is... It is godlike that you can do this. You can just have every piece of equipment on. Love it. One thing I didn't actually notice... Well, I noticed it, but I never commented on in, like, my other videos, is that, um... It now shows, like, how far you are until you lose signal from your power lines. And I think they buffed it, too. They, they buffed it so that you can be just a little bit further from your power cords, which is very nice. Some of these are not going to be automatable. Automatable? Automatable. That's not the word either. Think, Monica. Think. In case you didn't understand my constant stammering, we won't be able to automate the gas and obelisk. Due to the fact that biomass comes from things like grass and trees and alien carcasses, whereas mycelia comes from mushrooms. And currently there's no way to automate these things, seeing as, you know, we can only automate minerals and oil and stuff like that. So, gas all this is gonna be a no-go. Bop. Ah, uh, yes. Packaged schmeat. Ah, uh, yeah, toxic gas. And all this goodness. conveyor belts are gonna be so colorful with the different types of weapons and ammo it's gonna be so great pssst hey i just want to say i love and appreciate you and your content huh? even though i'm not around much you're amazing and someone who i love to listen to and enjoy watching thank you for being you and keep doing what makes you happy send me love send me love send me love yeah thank you soon we go i'm glad that I'm glad that my content means that much to you I try. <laughs> Whether or not I actually succeed is up for debate. <laughs> okay, we can get bioorganic capsule thing. Looks like a s screen canister for Monsters Inc. <laughs> Way too much protein. Really fun to automate. Gonna love that to death. So, entirely new product here the smokeless powder. Pretty sure this is going to be only used for weapon manufacturing. This powder. Is it really smokeless? Whew. Dude, 500 novelists. Wow. Kibitz was smart when he said that he was going to build his weapon factory in the Spire Coast, but... And no, I'm not doing it to copy Kibitz. I'm a little more original than that. I'm doing it because my nuclear factory, which is still in development, by the way, 
is right over there. It's just, just a stone toss over there. And we're gonna need a lot of oil. So, why not make it here? Next on our research list was a nuke novelisk. So we had to go all the way over to our unfinished nuclear power plant. And only here would my nightmares be realized. Nope. I'm not dealing with that today. Oh, the realism of this model? How am I not dead? But here it is. Been in development for over a month now, and it's all just one impure node. Just one node. Very unorganized, in my opinion. I think it looks... gross. But... it's, it's still a work in progress. So once we get this out, we can subtract how much, like, in case uranium cells. Because so far, this right here to those things which craft the, or manufacture the encased uranium cells, or sorry, the fuel rods, it's one to one. So we have to make some changes here. So, Nuke Nobelisk requires. My brain was already fried. Even in hindsight, this is still just a tiny bit confusing to me. Our setup here is that we're using 240 encased uranium cells to power 18 nuclear power plants, all of which overclocked to 250%. To automate the nuke novelist, we need 10 of those encased uranium cells. So we're left with 230. What I'm trying to find out is how many nuclear power plants do we have to subtract? Oh, goody goody. Nuke novelist. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so we just had to, like, take away one of those. Then. I'll just take away one of those. Because I don't need 30 per minute. We lose a power plant and a half. What the f- Pretty sure. It consumes 0.1 at 100. 0.2 per minute. 250. So we lose a power plant and a half. That, that's the math. That's the math. We done diddly did it. After deconstructing a fully overclocked power plant and taking out the power shards of another, I decided to make a load balancer to split the 40 in case you radium cells into a group of 30 and a group of 10. The group of 30 is still going towards the power plant, while the group of 10 goes to help create the new novelisk. It's now time that we go and scout the Spire Coast for a batch of oil and start making that smokeless powder. Good burger's not great, it's good. Ah, oh, so I'm doing $2. Thank you so much. Whoever this anonymous donator is. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Saw your video about Update 6. Very fun and helpful. D. Thank you. Expect a lot more videos like that in the future with every little patch that we get. Ooh. Hannah, please fix. Hannah, please fix. Oil extractor. In order to make smokeless powder, we were going to need multiple things. One being heavy oil residue, which is a byproduct of many oil recipes. Then we are going to need some black powder. Black powder being made with both sulfur and coal. Combine those two ingredients, we get smokeless black powder. Realistic mall is horrible and anime is best. Damn, Omni, it's not like I took like hours and hours to work on this. Only Skippy, thank you so much for the fall superstar. Boop. your flesh tuber model is so anime. Oh, you mean like my actual IRL self. Now yeah, there's selfies of me on Twitter. <laughs> Someone said like, why are you hiding behind an avatar? You, you so insecure. Yes, like, ah, oh, I'm so insecure. Don't look at my Twitter. <laughs> I'm sorry that you don't like it. Cope, I guess. No, no, like, VTubers using anime models is like, it's so overdone. Like, 
I never see VTubers like trying to push boundaries like they used to anymore. It's like, and I know I'm gonna lose a bunch of followers because I'm not uwu kawaii desu anime anymore. Like, bro, grow up. If you're if you're here only for the anime, then you're not here for me. I don't want you part of my like community, bro. I want people to like me for me. See, here's the coal node. The coal node and the sulfur node were actually pretty close to the spire coast. However, I've been debating how I want to transport these things here. We can use belts or trucks, but we have a huge surplus of drones, so I thought, let's just use drones. It'll be so much easier. Plus, it's cool when they fly around. I could just do this by drone, though, if I really wanted to. I could just do this by drone. Unfortunately, disaster struck as I was setting uh -oh. up the sulfur transport node. There was a bug that made it so that I lost all input controls when exiting the menu. Oh, Thus, I had to restart the game. Biggest problem, though, is that I didn't save. And I couldn't save. Oh, no. All the progress that was made on the stream was unfortunately lost. So I decided to end the stream and just do it all off camera. I didn't really want to bore anyone. After all was said and done, I decided to turn in for the night and get myself some shut-eye. 